complex shape. Ready? Let's check it out. So let's go over the basic. When you set the border radius to a single value, all corners will be rounded by the same value. If it's a static value like pixel, you will always get the symmetrical corners. But if it's a percentage, the radius is based on width and height of the element. Now you can add more than one value to border radius. For example, you can add four values to control each corner specifically. Or if you add two, the first will be applied to top left and bottom right corner, and the second is for top right and bottom left. You can also use corner specific properties like border, top right, radius. They are equivalent, but longer to type. Now here is where things get more interesting. By default, border radius will apply the same value to both horizontal and vertical radius. But you can also add slash to the value to separately control them. Let's see the example. As you can see, the value before the slash controls the horizontal radius while the latter controls the vertical one. So with this knowledge, we can add up to 8 value with slash to create a complex shape like this. Now creating shapes by manually editing these values is not very practical. So there is a tool to make things easier. You can just click and drag each point to control how much radius you want for each corner. Thanks to Mergo and Nils for making this. You can find the link at the description box below. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you love to see more